Awesome. That's got the sound on that. We have. We have a 174 pound finalist, Mark Hall of Penn State. We'll begin with an opening statement from Mark and then questions, please. Uh, I'm just happy to be here. This is a awesome tournament. I remember watching it when I was a kid. Heck, my junior year in high school, two years ago, I was here watching and it was a big round. Uh, Penn State's doing really well. We're just having fun. Put five in the finals, five for five. So I think that's the most important thing to us. Mark, do you think your styles were pretty similar and you sort of had to wait for spots to attack in that way? Um, I don't know if you'd call it similar styles. I, I think it was more we're just familiar with each other. Um, we've been on world teams together. We've wrestled since we were, um, you know, just kids. And so I think it was, there was a familiarity there. I think he's one of the better guys at putting up points and, you know, the tournament would show as well. And I'm, I'm right up there as well, putting up points. I think you get two guys that know each other. He's just familiar. I wouldn't say we're, um, we're not attacking, we're not offensive, but at the same time, you know, you don't want to make make mistakes. And so that's what happened. Mark, um, yeah, but you guys were on the same world teams in quite different weight classes. Uh, from television here, he looked a heck of a lot bigger than you. I talk about, you know, how that size difference didn't really ultimately matter when it, when it came to when you needed, <coughs> needed to score. Yeah, he's at 86. 84 kilo on the junior world team, I was 74 kilo, and uh, yeah, it just happened that um, you know, he came down. Um, anyways, it's, it's people are saying, you know, you're too small, um, you're giving up a lot of size, but at the end of the day, you just you wrestle seven minutes, and what comes out of that seven minutes has nothing to do with the size. Um, you know, it's not about the size of the dog in the fight, it's about the size of the fight in the dog. And I think that's that's a, the best way I can put it. You just you just wrestle. You know, <coughs> that's the best way I can describe it. Mark, two questions. Uh, were, did you realize that he had pulled your headgear or did you not know that until they actually called timeout? And also talk about your mindset since the Big Tens considered you you lost that final. Um I didn't I, I mean I, I was just wrestling. He took me down, I got away. I was ready. I was ready to be down 3 to 2, 18 seconds left, 19 seconds left. I was ready for that. But um, when he had taken me down, my headgear was a little bit jostled, and you know, it just happened that he grabbed it. You know, he put time back on the clock, and he wrestled through it. Um, it wasn't, I know, I know for a fact it wasn't on purpose. You know, uh, he didn't, he wasn't going to cheat to get a takedown by any means. You know, we we're just wrestling, and you know, that's, that's part of the sport. It, it, it happens. And, I wish it could happen another way, you know, knowing that I know Zahid very well. But same time, you know, like I said before, you just wrestle and you wrestle through all those positions. How about your mindset after the Big Tens? Yep, um, that was uh, that was rough for me losing that match. But at the same time, um, it probably the best thing that could happen to me. Uh, it's not like I was holding an undefeated record going in. I wasn't having any pressure on me, you know. You get in a big stage like that, uh, that's where I can keep my best, and that match definitely did not show. So I've, I've looked at my big time second place medal every day, and uh, yeah, I'm just excited to you know, be a part of the special thing Penn State's got going on right now. <coughs> Mark, uh, for your senior year, a lot of people were asking about you going to OTC, so winning six titles, you know, team and, and individuals, big thing for you. Um, when you were getting recruited, you said taking all your visits was a big thing for you. See, you, you just came in, you saw Bo get a pin. Putting five guys in the finals, is this, uh, you feel like you made the right decision and uh, kind of just, what is it like? Have you ever been on a team like this that's this good? Um, yeah, I made the right decision. I'm, uh, I'm really happy with where I am, with where our team's at. And I think, um, 
I don't know. You know, this tournament could have played out a lot of ways. We were down uh, 125 pounder off the get go, and you know that's unfortunate. That Nick couldn't wrestle. I know, <clears throat> and in his heart of hearts, <clears throat> he was ready to scrap. And so you get down like that. Uh, you know, we're down a guy right away, and so um, you just wrestle through those things. And Coach Cal's big on just having fun and uh, having fun and. The rest will take care of itself. All we have to do is wrestle seven minutes. We don't dictate what the rest says. We don't dictate things going on around us. The only thing we can control is how we're going to compete. And at the end of the day, that's what got us five in the finals. And I think that's a big part of what makes Penn State special. And that's why I'm more than more than satisfied with making my decision to go to Penn State and be at Nittany Lion for the rest of my life. Just one more question, Mark, about the weight. The question of whether you were picking up. Was it always a plan to go 174, or did they decide later, and then they're going to wait to see what you did at the weight class before they take the retro off? Could you explain that? Um, I just, I certified for 174. I was, um, that was assuming I was going to be a retro season. So, <clears throat> I wasn't going to cut any weight. And I had no plans to, you know, just redshirting, wrestling, having fun. That was the most important thing. And uh, when the time came around, and you know, after a sudden scuffle, and uh, I just wanted to, I wanted to wrestle. I, I got the itch. I wasn't going to be wrestling for a while if I hadn't. Uh, maybe till the uh, U.S. Open. And um, yeah, I just, I wasn't worried about my weight. You had know? you had you thought you were going to wrestle this year, would you have gone down to 165? Um, no, I think I think we're strong regardless. I think we win the team title regardless. I think we wrestle smart. We we do the things we're doing right now regardless. And so, um, I'm a I'm a small 174 pounder. I'd be a big 165. I know when I'm making 74 kilos, it's quite the cut. And so, you, I mean, you don't want to be doing that for a whole season, and it gets it gets hard. So 174 is a good way for me, and. Uh, you know, my mom, my mom's telling me to go down next year, but now I have reason to tell her 174 is mine, and I'm, I'm going to stay here. And this is, this is the, the best part about being, being uh, wrestling at this level, you know, just having fun and you know, taking it that route. That's all from our call. Thank you. Congratulations.